Elite Vivant's Client Welcome Packet Edit Walkthrough. My name is Latifa, and I'm going to guide you through editing this template if you're new to Canva. After you've submitted your email, you are given instant access to the Canva template. You also should have received it in your inbox. If you have not yet received the email, please check your spam folder as it may have filtered there. Okay, now let's get started. First, you will need a Canva Pro account in order to access and edit this template. So if you have not created your profile, please do so first. In order to do so, you can click Edit Design, and then you can either enter your information if you have an account, or you can say New to Canva, Sign Up. Once you sign up, then you will be able to access the template. All right, so let's show you. So this is what the template looks like. Okay, the first step we're going to do is we're going to hover over File, click, and we're going to make a copy. Making a copy of the template allows us to keep the original design intact while we're creating our different versions. Okay, so this is the full template. I am going to click on this page manager just to show you a full overview. Now in this design, there is duplicate pages and the duplicate pages are different styles. So for example, if you see right here, it says how we will communicate. How we will communicate has two different pages with two different versions. So it would be up to you to select which versions you want. Now, because this is a copy, for example, if I say, okay, I want this one, then I will delete this one out. And again, how I did that was I just went to this lower part of the screen and clicked on Page Manager. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to do it again just so you can see it. So here I'm able to then go and say, okay, I want a variation. So I can delete this one, our collaborative process. There's two project de deliverables. So I can say, okay, this one. And let's just say I'm going every other. Okay. So I'll click that out and I recommend you do this first before you start editing. Okay. Cause you don't want to just waste time. Okay. So we're going to delete that out. And then this one will be this one final page. Okay. So then to get back to the original, we're going to click out of this X exit page manager. And then we're going to be able to then hover over. It's pretty simple. Um, I just like showing you because I'm pretty new to Canva and, you know, it took me some time to really see how to do things. So I thought, let me make this video for anybody who's new um, or just anybody who needs like a little refresher on how to kind of customize the templates. Okay. So clicking here, double clicking, you can change the name of this. So it would be your company name at the top. And let me, okay. You're also able to move it. So once that happens, it might recenter depending on how long your company name is. Okay. You also can click on it and change the font text. So everything is customizable. If I wanted to change the font, anything like that. Okay. In order to change the back image, you'd go to photos. And let's just say I want to put this there. If you hover right into the corner, it will swap it out for you. Okay. Sometimes if you go and it does, you know, if you're not in the right place, it will drop it over. Um, just delete that out. Make sure it's still hover hovered over, I guess, um, and just click delete. Okay. So I'm going to just revert back to my coffee cup. Here, you want to make sure you enter your domain. So any any place that has any like text that is like sample text, demo text, you'll just double click on it and then you'll be able to edit it. Okay, so scrolling down, you can everything, same steps, double click, edit. Okay, this is the contents. And then we have the welcome page. Here you're able to then click on this and add your image. So adding images, double click it. Oh, we already have it open. So in order to add your own image, you'd click upload. 
And for example, I'll show you. I already have a sample image in here. You just hover right over, drag it and hover, and then drop it. And then it will show up. Okay. So then next pages, again, just double clicking and adding in your information. So this is how we will communicate office hours, emails, phone calls, meetings. Now in the meeting section, you can put whether you have a location or you can even add your Zoom link so that your clients can easily reference them and know where they're going to meet you. Okay, this is our collaborative process page. This is the project deliverables. This is important dates. And this of course would be things that you already spoke to your client about. It's just great to have everything in one place again for them. In the event that you need something from your client, you can have it here. Tools that you're going to use. So for example, for my clients, I use different tools. I use 17 hats. I use Airtable, um, different management systems to just help us keep the project on track. Um, and it just helps with my workflow in the end. So any tools that you're using, you just double click and add your tool name. If the tool name is too long and it starts to double up, you'll just hover over it and change the size. Okay. So that it, it can still fit there. And in the event that you do not have all these tools, you just double click and you can click, say, I want to just delete this whole middle row. Well, the bottom row. You'll just click until everything's hovered and then you'll be able to remove things. If you want to move all of the stuff down, you'll just click, click, click until all of it's highlighted. And then you would just push the down arrow to move anything down to recenter the page. Frequent asked questions. This is always great because you can avoid, you know, patterns and answering things over and over again if you have it highlighted for them. And then the next steps, what's happening next after they receive the client packet, you know, just guiding them. And then that's it. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, at this bottom part, I didn't show you double click here, anything edible, you just double click it, edit to pull. Yeah. <laughs> um, you just double click it and then change the, change the text out. Once you're done, you will then scroll back to the top and you would click here and you would download it. Okay. And that's it. Pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, I am available via email or you can visit my website, www.elitevivant.com. And I will just type that here for you so you can see. So this is my website. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create and just helping you on your journey of creating a better, smarter system um, for your clients. Talk soon.